Welcome to our episode of TV Briefing. Today, we've got a mix of heartfelt support, animated ventures, and the science behind our sleep patterns to share with you. First up, we're seeing a wave of admiration for the Duchess of Cambridge from readers of The Telegraph. They're commending her for handling the pressures of public life with, you guessed it, grace and dignity. It's not all royalty, though, we're also diving into the world of anime. Japanese trading house Itochu is joining forces with Sky Perfect JSAT, aiming to bring anime to global audiences through streaming giants like Netflix and Amazon. They're planning to produce at least 10 anime films in five years, talk about ambitious. And for those of you who often find yourselves waking up just before your alarm, turns out, it's a good thing. Experts say it's a sign that your body clock is ticking just right. Meanwhile, on the entertainment front, despite Alfred Hitchcock's controversial persona, his classic film, Suspicion, continues to captivate audiences. And in other news, Joni Mitchell's music is back on Spotify after a two-year hiatus, and Blake Lively is issuing apologies over a joke about Kate Middleton amidst the princess's recent cancer diagnosis revelation. So, whether you're into royal dramas, the expanding universe of anime, or the science of sleep, we've got something for everyone today. Stay tuned for the detailed scoop on these stories and more. Please continue to watch for more in-depth coverage. Letters, throughout this ordeal the Princess of Wales has acted with grace and dignity. Telegraph. Several readers of the Telegraph have written in support of the Duchess of Cambridge, praising her for her recent disclosure of personal details and acknowledging the difficulties she has faced in the public eye. One reader commended the Duchess for upholding family values and handling challenges with grace and dignity, whilst another expressed shock at the loss of control the Duchess experienced due to online speculation. The readers called for greater emotional intelligence in society and emphasized the need for people to be more aware of how their behavior affects others. Japan's Itochu to team with Sky Perfect JSAT in anime business. Nikkei Asia. Japanese trading house Itochu is partnering with satellite broadcaster Sky Perfect JSAT to enter the animation business. Itochu will take a 20% stake in an animation company to be launched by Sky Perfect JSAT in April. The partners aim to distribute anime films through overseas streaming services such as Netflix and Amazon. The anime market is growing rapidly overseas, and the partners seek to promote Japanese anime content to capitalize on its popularity. The new company plans to start streaming from fiscal 2024 and produce at least 10 anime films in five years. Itochu will utilize its sales networks to focus on overseas distribution, selling distribution rights to different countries and regions in exchange for commissions. This marks the first time in about 17 years that Itochu has become involved in anime. Why we sometimes wake up just before our alarm. ABC. Waking up naturally just before your alarm goes off is a sign that your body clock is working well, according to sleep experts. The body clock, or circadian clock, knows when it is time to wake up by lining up with the sleep system. Disrupted sleep patterns can have negative health effects, including jet lag, insomnia, and shift work disorder. Researchers at Flinders University are developing a personalized tracker to measure body temperature, which will help determine the best times to sleep and to expose the body to light. Power of the Past celebrates agriculture's legacy. Yahoo! Power of the Past, always scheduled for the third weekend in August, is one of the state's foremost antique farm machinery shows and will mark its 35th anniversary this year. Hitchcock was a dirty old man, but I'll still watch this gripping classic. Telegraph. The article discusses Alfred Hitchcock's film, Suspicion, and argues that it is highly ingenious and remains gripping to this day. The film stars Joan Fontaine as Lena McLaidlaw, a young Englishwoman who marries the charming yet manipulative Johnny Acegarth, played by Cary Grant. As the film progresses, Lena begins to suspect that her husband is plotting to kill her for her life insurance. The article praises Hitchcock's direction and the performances of the cast, particularly Cary Grant, and argues that the film is a standout from Hitchcock's American period. D118 board votes to add, improve weapons detection systems. Yahoo! The weapons detection system at North Ridge Middle School continues to cause bottlenecks of students as they pass through them, with the system not flowing as quickly as at Danville High School and leaving students in inclement weather. Phil Williams' commentary, camp should be about the kids, not the adults. Yahoo! A former state senator from Alabama has hit out at a camp counselor who identifies as a butch-coated space queer and wears a rainbow flag on his uniform. Phil Williams, who is a retired army colonel and combat veteran, and a practicing attorney, cited the counselor as an example of why it is important for parents to be aware of the people taking care of their children. Space Camp is hosted by the U.S. Space and Rocket Center. Williams said that while Space Camp and the USSRC are amazing assets to our state, the Alabama Space Science Exhibit Commission which oversees them has some explaining to do. 
He said that the USSRC now hires people who take their personal agendas into the lives of our kids and claimed that parents were now expressing outrage. Joni Mitchell's music back on Spotify two years after joining Neil Young in Boycott. The Toronto Star. Joni Mitchell's music has returned to Spotify after more than two years. The singer-songwriter had pulled her music from the platform in protest of other content available on the streaming service. Mitchell did not release an official statement regarding the return, but her complete discography is now available on Spotify. She had initially removed her music in solidarity with Neil Young, who had protested Spotify's decision to give Joe Rogan an exclusive platform. Young recently announced his return to Spotify, citing the presence of other platforms featuring the same disinformation podcast. Bridging the Future, the Impact of Bridge Accelerator Program on the Paso del Norte Region. Yahoo! The Bridge Accelerator Program, which aims to boost innovation and growth in the Paso del Norte region of New Mexico and Texas, is inviting businesses in southern New Mexico to apply to join its new cohort by March 29. The 12-week program, which is supported by industry giants including Microsoft TechSpark, helps small and medium-sized enterprises to navigate the challenges of the modern business landscape, with participants gaining access to cutting-edge technologies and resources. Blake Lively apologizes for mocking Kate Middleton Photoshop fails after Princess reveals cancer diagnosis, silly post has me mortified. Yahoo! Blake Lively has publicly apologized for her joke about Kate Middleton's Photoshop fails after the Princess of Wales confirmed that she has undergone treatment for cancer. On March 15, Lively had posted a comically edited photo promoting her Betty Buzz beverage line. That was a reference to visual anomalies in a photo released on March 10 by the royal family depicting Middleton and her three children, which prompted AP and other news agencies to pull the image from their services. Middleton subsequently acknowledged, like many amateur photographers, I do occasionally experiment with editing. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 do brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 do brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 do brief via email.